All right, uh, to the virus. You've heard a lot about this uh, Delta variant. It's kind of bedeviling the world right now. It's a huge problem in places like Moscow. It's all but shutting down parts of Asia. And even in this country, it accounts for most of the new cases that are being reported, even though I should stress uh, we don't have nearly as many new cases as we used to. Nevertheless, Johnson & Johnson is out saying uh, that its vaccine uh, does neutralize the Delta variant. Moderna had separately said, you might recall, earlier in the week, that its vaccine can handle this, whether it addresses all you know, extreme versions of the variant that no one knows for sure. But I have a good idea that my next guest has, has, has some thoughts on this. Dr. Kevin Campbell, K Rock Consulting President, CEO of Cardiologist. Doctor, great to have you back with us. Um, this Delta variant, I know we got into it last time we spoke, but I am wondering it is stubborn. Um, we, we, you know, the numbers are not what they were, I, I grant you, but it is something that's popping up all over the world. Should we worry about it? So I do think the Delta variant is a concern, but it's mainly a concern for unvaccinated folks. The vaccines seem to be effective, both uh, the Moderna, the Pfizer, and the J&J. &J. But in the unvaccinated population, I think you're going to see it run wild because it is a very efficient virus at infecting and, and moving from person to person. So let me get an idea where we stand now. Uh, you know, we're, we're just shy of the 70 percent of the population the president wanted to have at least partially uh, vaccinated. Uh, you know, close to half have been fully vaccinated. Um, so the threat here is to, as you pointed out, doctor, those who have not uh, been vaccinated. And there are many who do not think they need to get vaccinated. So what do you tell people? You know, I think the most important thing that you can do for yourself, your family, your children, your parents, and anyone else who has a chronic illness is to get vaccinated. These vaccines are safe. They're effective. We know that they're effective against most all strains that we've studied. Uh, we know that they're effective in preventing death. They're effective in preventing severe disease. And right now we see absolutely no ill effects of significance in large numbers to getting the vaccine. So I say get vaccinated. Um, you know, there, there are recommendations, and they're confusing ones, doctors, you know, out of the World Health Organization, that whether you've been vaccinated or not, wear the mask. Wear the mask indoors. Uh, L.A. County is going so far as to say absolutely whether you've been vaccinated or not indoors, and in some outdoor locations, wear the mask. Where are you on this mask thing? So I think that that is a completely inappropriate statement. I think there is absolutely no reason that vaccinated folks should wear masks. I think the issue is we need to focus on those who choose not to get vaccinated because they're putting themselves and others at risk. I feel that as a society, we that got vaccinated should not necessarily have to wear masks because others choose not to. So um, this push or this concern that's happening in other parts of the world, is it because overall vaccinations are low? Uh, I was surprised that, you know, in, in countries like Switzerland, they're, they're in the single digit area when it comes to total vaccinations. Is that the issue? I, I believe it is. And, you know, if in the United States we had a preponderance of unvaccinated folks, then I would say mass mandates are very appropriate. And that's where we were, you know, a year ago with this virus. But now that we have more people vaccinated than not, I don't think a mass mandate is necessary. And I think it actually shouldn't happen. But you're right. In countries where you have, you know, less than 30 percent of the population vaccinated, I think that is the best tool they have right now until they get everyone vaccinated. Got it. Dr. Campbell, great seeing you again. Have a, a very safe and healthy fourth, sir. Appreciate it. All right. A quick